Gonna be building a budget PC. Let's get started. What's up guys, you've seen me on this channel build a couple of different types of PCs. The first one is more of a high-end computer, which uh, I just did, and that was for my uh, daily use computer. Uh, I put together a, a sort of mid-range PC, which was my wife's computer, and uh, in this video, uh, I put together uh, like a really, really basic budget PC. Uh, so I have a client of mine that I've worked with for a long time, and uh, he was looking to replace a uh, Pending 4 computer, and uh, he's uh, the type of person that really only needs it to do web browsing, maybe some light uh, word processing, and uh, maybe check out some videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, he's uh, higher end in age. <laughs> he's probably about 85, 86. So he does not need anything crazy. Uh, so just keep that in mind as we go over the parts. Um, I think the budget uh, overall for this computer uh, was about $350, give or take. Uh, and then we can go through really quickly what uh, I was able to get for that amount of money. First up, it's the NZXT Source 210. It's a pretty basic but solid mid-tower case. Uh, I needed something relatively small since the PC was going to be sitting underneath a desk. And because of that, uh, all of the buttons and the USB ports needed to be accessible on the front. Uh, I reused the existing DVD-RW drive from the old computer, so we saved a few bucks there. Uh, the inside is painted black, the front panel cables are sleeved in black plastic, so everything looks nice and clean, uh, and overall it's a nice case for the money. Next up is the motherboard. I picked up this Micro ATX board from Gigabyte. Uh, it's the GA-H81MDS2V. It's LGA1150, supporting 4th gen Intel Core CPUs. Uh, on the back for I.O., we've got a mix of USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports a uh, PS2 uh, legacy adapter, as well as VGA and DVI for video, a Realtek Gigabit LAN port, and just basic audio support. For the CPU, I went with an intro level Haswell chip. Uh, this is a Celeron G1820. Uh, it runs at 2.7 gigahertz with two megabytes of L3 cache. Uh, and remember that since this computer is only gonna be used for really basic tasks, we won't be getting a dedicated video card, and instead we'll be using the built-in Intel HD graphics straight from the CPU. I picked up four gigs of DDR3 memory from G-Skill, running at 1333 megahertz. For storage, we're gonna be going with a 250 gig Western Digital Blue Drive. And finally, the power supply. Uh, this one is from Corsair. It's the CX430. Uh, it's 80 plus bronze rated, uh, providing 430 watts of power. Uh, it's got good reviews, a three-year warranty, and looks pretty decent with uh, sleeve cables and a matte black finish. Here's everything installed, and I think it looks pretty decent, all things considered. Uh, I did make a little mistake up front at the beginning of the video. Uh, total cost for all of these parts was $283, including shipping from Newegg. So really, really good. So just uh, under $300. Uh, now, you'll have to factor in another $100 to $200 or so for an OEM version of Windows if you wanted to go that way, uh, or nothing, I suppose, if you were going to do something like Linux instead. Hey guys, I made a really bad mistake and I deleted that first part of the video. So that's why I'm sitting in my chair in my office now uh, because I figured I'd, it's just a hell of a lot easier just to remake this instead of trying to recover the old stuff that I lost. So uh, I apologize for the crappy lighting and uh, I will try and fix it in post, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyways, um, I'm really curious as to what you guys think. Leave me a comment below uh, about the uh, budget build. It's not something I've done in the past, so um, I just want to know what you guys think. Uh, also, check in the description because you're going to find links to the different build videos that I've done uh, previously. So there'll be playlists for those. Uh, you're also going to be finding links to everywhere else that I'm at. So follow me there and you'll get updates on when new videos are posted and everything else. Um, so like, share, subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. See you next time.